So Hilua just dropped version 2.3 and it looks insane. The new text-to-video feature feels way more realistic. Smoother motion, better faces, and way cleaner scenes. Today we're testing it out and seeing how it stacks up against Sora 2 and Google VO 3.1. Let's find out which one actually turns your text into the most cinematic video. And if you're new here and watching my video for the first time, hi! I'm Dean Arabella. I'm passionate about creating AI videos on YouTube and sometimes do a bit of modeling as well. You can also check out my Instagram. The link is in the description below. <laughs> All right, now let's get into the video. First, head over to Hilo's official website and sign in with your Google account. Once you're in, click on the video option and you'll see the brand new Hilo 2.3 version right there. If you're on the free plan, you get to generate four trial videos to test it out. Hilo claims this update brings some big upgrades, better motion physics, more natural expressions, and overall higher quality visuals. So today, I'm going to throw in a few complex text prompts and see how well it performs. Then we'll compare those results with Google VO 3.1 and Sora 2, so yeah. Let's see if Hailuo can actually hold its ground against the giants. So for the first test, here's the prompt I used. Colorful paint drops land on a pure black surface. Each drop creates expanding circles of blue, red, and yellow. The view pulls back to show all the drops forming a moving spiral pattern with a soft white glow pulsing through it. The final frame reveals a complete abstract design. I'm using the fixed 720p 6 second video setting across all three platforms, just to keep it fair. Now, here's what Hailuo 2.3 came up with. So here's one thing I noticed right away. Hailuo 2.3 still doesn't generate audio with the video. That's kind of a bummer, especially when both VO 3.1 and Sora 2 already support built-in sound. The visuals are impressive, no doubt, but without audio, it just feels a bit incomplete. Hopefully they'll roll out that feature soon. All right, now let's check out how VO 3.1 and Sora 2 handled the exact same prompt. Hmm. VO 3.1 actually nailed the motion and lighting a bit better than Sora 2. The paint movement looked smoother, and the overall glow felt more natural. Hailuo 2.3 came surprisingly close though, almost on par with VO's quality, especially considering it's still new. So for this round, I'd say VO 3.1 gets one point, and Hailuo 2.3 also earns one point for holding up that strong. For the next test, I went with something a bit more realistic. A luxurious makeup kit falls and all its contents scatter across the surface. So here are the results from all three. Interesting results here. All three did a pretty good job, but honestly, the luxury box and that powder splash in Hailuo 2.3 look almost real. This round's point goes straight to Hailuo 2.3, no doubt. Next, I tried a simple but detailed prompt, a smoothie in a bowl, and here are the results. Wow, all three actually look pretty impressive at first glance. Sora 2 looked super realistic, but the video had that handheld shake, like someone filmed it on a phone. Meanwhile, Hailuo 2.3 absolutely nailed it. Smooth camera motion, perfect texture, and that rich cinematic look. So yeah, this round definitely goes to Hailuo 2.3. All right, for this next one, I wanted to really push these models to their limits. So I went with a more complex prompt. A crystal sphere rests on a mirrored table. Light beams pass through the sphere,
creating a rainbow refraction. The table surface ripples like water. The sphere multiplies into seven, forming a perfect circle, each one showing a different color spectrum. The reason I'm testing with prompts like this is simple. Hilo 2.3 claims to have improved its physics, realism, and prompt accuracy. So this should show whether that's actually true. Okay, let's check out the results from Hilo 2.3, VO 3.1, and Sora 2. So this one's pretty close. Both Hiluo and Vio did a really solid job. The lighting, reflections, and rainbow effects looked amazing. But when you look closely, Hiluo actually nailed the detail. It split the sphere into almost seven, just like the prompt said. Vio 3.1 managed only about four. Still, both handled the physics really well, so I'm not being biased here. Let's give one point to Hiluo and one point to Vio for this round. For the final test, I went with something a bit educational. A 3D animation showing how the human heart pumps blood through the body. So, let's check out the results. Each heartbeat begins as the atria fill with returning blood. The right atrium receives oxygen-rich blood from the lungs, valves open, and the ventricles contract. VO 3.1 couldn't generate it. It flagged the prompt as sensitive content. Sora 2 just blew me away. The anatomy, the motion, the fluid transitions. Everything looked super realistic and perfectly synced. No doubt about it. Sora 2 totally takes the point this round. All right, so far we've been testing only non-human prompts, and here's how the scoreboard looks right now. Hilo 2.3 is leading with four points. Theo 3.1 sits at 2, and Sora 2 has 1 point. So if you're creating videos without humans, Hiloo definitely delivers the most stunning visuals and motion. But if you need built-in audio support, VO 3.1 is still your best bet. Now, let's take it up a notch and test how all three handle human-based prompts, because that's where realism really gets tested. For the first human-based prompt, I tried this one. A site engineer monitoring different aspects of a construction project. Now, here are the results. Pump crate volume and temperature look good. Rebar placement confirmed. Pump line clear. Copy. Keep the pour steady at one meter per hour. I'll monitor slab levels from here. Drone scan is updating the 3D model. Okay, the alignment on level seven looks correct according to the updated schematics. We are on schedule. And wow, <laughs> all three look pretty solid overall, but Sora 2 just went next level here. It generated clear audio, multiple frame transitions, and visuals that actually matched the scene perfectly. Hi Luo and Vio both did well, with clean motion and realistic lighting, but they still felt a bit poor compared to Sora's fluidity. So yeah, Sora 2 definitely takes the point for this one. All right, for the next test, I went with something more dynamic. An athlete stops after jogging a distance, pulls out his thermos, and drinks water profusely. And here are the results. Wow, <laughs> all three absolutely nailed it this time. The body movement, lighting, and physics looked surprisingly realistic across the board. All three handled motion and expression really well here. So yeah, this one's a tie. One point each for all three. For this next test, I tried something more cinematic. Two strangers meet at a train station during a thunderstorm. And here are the results.
Some storm, huh? Yeah. Feels like the sky's about to split in half. I'm Marcus. Lena. Nice to meet you, even if we're both stranded. Could be worse. At least there's company. True. Hmm. Okay, so I clearly said two strangers, right? Then how come they're suddenly kissing the moment they meet? <laughs> anyway, apart from that surprise romance, Sora 2 actually understood the prompt the best. The atmosphere, the rain, the lighting, everything looked spot on. Hiloo 2.3 also performed really well, especially with the environment details, but VO 3.1 struggled a bit here. So yeah, Sora 2 takes the point for this one. <laughs> for this next one, I used the prompt, two nurses administering medications and treatments to a group of patients in a hospital ward. And here are the results. This antibiotic should start clearing the infection with 24 hours. Mr. Ryan. We'll be back to check on you shortly. Press the call button if you need anything. All right, Mrs. Tyler, two tablets this morning. They'll help with the congestion. Thank, Thank you. you. Here you go. Sip of water if you need it. Got it. I'm going to push your antibiotic through the line now. Should be just a tiny pinch, okay? All right. I'm done. All three models performed well visually. But if you look closely, in Sora 2 and VO 3.1, the two nurses are taking care of only one patient, even though the prompt clearly says a group of patients. Meanwhile, Hiluo 2.3 actually understood that part right and showed two patients being treated. Yeah, there were a few minor physics issues across all three videos, but ignoring that and focusing purely on prompt accuracy, Hi Luo definitely gets the point this time. Okay, next prompt goes like this. A team works together at a bright office, sunlight through windows, camera glides across the workspace. Let's check out the results. The Q3 projections are looking strong based on this data. Yes, the growth metrics are exceeding expectations. If we ship the launch date by a week, we can include the new feature set. That would give engineering some breathing room. Works for marketing too. We'd have more time to build the campaign assets. Great, I'll update the timeline. Hmm, both VO 3.1 and Hilo 2.3 performed really well here. The lighting, the workspace, everything looks natural and cinematic. Sora 2, though, had a little lip sync issue if you listen closely. Not a big deal, but noticeable. The camera glide was smoother in VO 3.1, but overall, the look and feel of Hilo just felt more realistic and balanced to me. So, yeah, the point goes to Hilo this time. It really nailed that bright, warm office vibe perfectly. Next, I tried a multiple action prompt a dog catching a frisbee midair with butterflies flying around and a brick wall in the background. Let's see which one managed to keep all those details. Leo handled the dog's action really well, but the butterflies just stayed static in the background. In Sora 2, everything looked nice, except there were no butterflies at all. And Hi Luo, well, it nailed the butterflies, the brick wall, and the dog, but the physics was totally off. The frisbee literally flew midair automatically without the dog's jump. It's kind of hard to decide this one, but if we're judging purely on prompt accuracy, Hiluo managed to include everything mentioned. So yeah, the point goes to Hiluo this time. Let me know your thoughts on this prompt in the comments. Next prompt goes like this. A mechanic in gray overalls repairs a motorcycle engine. Tools spread out on a red metal toolbox. Oil stained rags sit nearby. The garage has LED lights overhead and vintage car posters on the walls. All right, let's check out the results. snug but not too tight. These old motors like to breathe a little. There we go. Clamp secure. Let me give it a spin. Sounds clean. We'll button the rest up. Wow. <laughs> All three tools actually nailed it this time. But if we compare closely, Sora 2 just looks visually cleaner. The lighting, the depth, even the reflections look more refined than Vio and Hiluo. 
So yeah, the point definitely goes to Sora too this time. Now here's something interesting. Hyloa also gives you camera controls, which is a really cool addition. So I decided to test that out with a simple prompt. Early school kids playing football during break time. For the camera movement, I selected a tracking shot and then used the exact same prompt and setup for VO 3.1 and Sora 2 to keep things fair. Now let's check the results. Stop it, Lila! Oh no! Goal! Nice kick! That was awesome! I scored! Yay! Wow, great goal! Hmm. All three performed really well. The motion, the lighting, and even the environment felt natural. But between them, Hailuo and Sora 2 definitely stood out especially in how the camera actually followed the kids dynamically. Still, Sora 2 had that extra edge. So yeah, the point goes to Sora 2 this time. It's getting really close now, and the competition's heating up. Next, I gave a prompt like this. A busy subway station filled with passengers, realistic lighting and urban atmosphere, handheld camera style, documentary tone, and let's check out the results. This is a downtown express train to Brooklyn. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Now arriving, 34th Street. Transfer is available to the A, C, and E line. Stand clear of the closing doors. Wow. Hyluel and Sora really surprised me this time. Both delivered super clean results. No human morphing, no weird faces, and the crowd movement actually looked believable. VO 3.1 did okay but it still had a few noticeable distortions in the crowd. So yeah, this round is a tie. One point each for Hailuo and Sora 2. Honestly, this one shows just how far text to video realism has come. Last but not least, I tried a really detailed prompt. Something like a body parts dish cooking, including heart, lungs, and all that. And the results? Well, as I expected, Sora 2 and VO 3.1 immediately flagged it with a sensitive content warning, but Hailuo actually generated the video perfectly. So I'm not counting this one for the scoring game, but here's the important takeaway. Hailuo lets you explore sensitive or unusual prompts without heavy restrictions. That means you have a much wider range of creative possibilities compared to the other platforms which is definitely a big plus for content experimentation. So finally, here are the results from our human-based prompt tests. Sora 2 is leading with six points, Hilo 2.3 follows closely with five points, and VO 3.1 sits at one point. Now, if we combine everything, non-human and human prompts, here's the overall scoreboard. Hilo 2.3 comes out on top with nine points, Sora 2 has 7 points, and VO 3.1 finishes with 3 points. So, who's the winner? Honestly, for me, it's all 3. So why did I say all 3 are winners? Well, it's simple. Each tool really shines in its own category. Even though VO 3.1 scored lower overall, the quality of the videos it produces is incredibly rich, especially with audio and smooth action, something Hailuo and Sora just can't match. For human realism, Sora 2 is on top. It nails expressions, movements, and multi-frame accuracy like no other. And when it comes to multiple scene or complex prompts, Hailuo 2.3 takes the crown. It handles prompt details, objects, camera controls beautifully, and even supports sensitive content that cannot be produced in VO 3.1 or Sora 2. So basically, it's not about a single winner. It's about choosing the right tool for the right purpose and all three bring something unique to the table. Right now, all the other AI models support audio, so Hailuo really needs to integrate audio with the video. That's super important if it wants to stay competitive. And that's it for today's test and comparison video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.